Okay, we're gonna do the 14 AWG now in three, two, one. All right, hey everybody, today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different, it should be a lot of fun. We're going to short circuit out these six wires you see here. Um, the reason we're doing this today is to demonstrate eye safety and battery safety. So whenever you're working around open electronics like this and batteries or you're building out your own kits, you always wanna be wearing eye protection. Anytime there's a spark in electronics, that's actually hot molten copper or metal flying out and potentially could hit you in your eyes. So wear, wear eye protection and maybe consider purchasing non-conductive tools as well. If you were ratcheting on one of these bolts and you, you, you touched with a regular tool, you're gonna cause big sparks. Um, and so, you know, non-conductive tools, this is a composite material. They are a beneficial. A set like this is only about $20 on Amazon. Um, so just something to consider purchasing on top right. of that. For the All battery right. safety, I uh, wanted to demonstrate that lithium iron phosphates are, are, aren't as susceptible to thermal runaway as some of the, as some of the other nickel-based type batteries are out there. So you'll see, I mean, we're gonna be short-circuiting this today and we're gonna keep an eye on the temperature. With that, I'll talk about the setup real quick. We have uh, six wires starting at 22 AWG. This is about a six foot length. And then we're gonna go to 14, 12, 10, eight, and six. I bought these at a local hardware store. They're all THHN stranded PVC jacketed wires, except for the first one that's just a PVC jacketed. Um, it's, it's a solid core 22 AWG wire. So. What we're demonstrating here is the positive wire, negative wire, both gonna be hooked up to the positive negative on the battery, and that's gonna energize our terminals here. Uh, once the terminals are energized, we're gonna go ahead and use the servos, and we're gonna drop them so that the wires touch over here, and that simulates a short circuit. That simulates dropping a wire or a tool or something like that between. So the way we're gonna do that is we've got all these servos hooked up to an Arduino controller over here. Um, the Arduino controller also has an IR sensor hooked up to it, and I have captured all the codes off of this uh, remote so that we can push the, push the arms up and down from a distance so that we can stay a safe distance away. So I'll go through each of them one at a time, making them go, go down and then back up. And they're just staying off of the, the bus bar with their own kind of their own tension right now. And so the, the bar is just pushing that down. So that's how that works. We'll go through one at a time, smallest to biggest, and we'll get to see what happens. And, and we'll be able to see on the display here a thermistor that I'm going to have between the batteries, and that's going to give us temperature. And then we also have a negative and a positive on the bus bars to monitor voltage. So as we short circuit these wires, we'll be able to see a voltage drop, and we'll be able to actually measure that and see what's happening there. So the LCD screen obviously also hooked up to the Arduino. All right, that's basically it. We're gonna go outside now and hook this up. But first, if you like this video, you like these types of videos, hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And on top of that, uh, if you wanna get notified, we got some videos coming down the pipe. Uh, so if you wanna get notified for future, future videos, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified of those. Okay, that's everything. Let's head outside and short circuit some wires. All right, guys, we've done one final check of systems and we are hooking up the positive now, putting our glasses on and we are hooked up and once this is tightened down we'll back up and be ready to go all right now this is just 12 volts we may do a future video with some more voltage or some more amps but right now let's see what's going to happen all right we're going to do 22 awg and three two one there we go oh man See the voltage 13.2 so we're done on that one all right pretty cool melted okay we're gonna do the 14 awg now and three two one whoa that was pretty cool melted off the, the the whole tip of it the 12 awg and three two one Woo. So 
of the wire didn't come off. We're gonna see if we can get it off with a stick here. It didn't completely melted it. That was cool. All right. Whoo! Now going for a little bit bigger one here. This is gonna be. Let me make sure we got this. In three, two, one. Whoo! Goodness. Awesome. And back up. <laughs> oh, that smells horrible. Use our stick to get that up. Oh, look at that plastic just melted. Look how fast that, oh my gosh. That is something. All right, let's get it on the other side so it won't cause any problem. Eight AWG, and I gotta back up, hang on. <laughs> and three, two, one. Three, two. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, well, we'll go with the big wire next. I'm not sure what's going on with the eight. We may try to reset that here in a second, but for now, let's go ahead and move to the six. I'm gonna step back and we're going six gauge wire and three, two, one. And we're just gonna keep going up and down. Not sure why. I think it's just put, kicking it back off so quickly. All right, well, we're gonna do, we're gonna use a stick then from a, a fairly safe distance away. Three, two, one. I don't have a stick long enough for that. All right, we're gonna stop for now. All right, I'm gonna use a shovel so I can get a little further away. <laughs> and three, two, one. Man, that's throwing metal. Awesome. All right, we're going to go back and do the 8 AWG again in three, two, one. Whew. A little fire going there. Three, two, one. Man. There you go. That's the demonstration. Whew. Okay, hey everybody, what did you guys think of that? Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to build this and set it up and demonstrate, uh, you know, what can happen when, when you short circuit wire. So uh, the big takeaway, especially on that last one was, oh my gosh, the sparks coming off of that thing. They were getting thrown out at least 12 feet. Um, I was at the end of a shovel, you know, holding it down there at the end and they, I could feel a couple little pieces hit my feet a little. And so um, if you drop something like that between two terminals, which is essentially what we just did, we just short circuited this battery with a wire size like a 6AWG, you're gonna have some serious sparks going on. Wear eye protection. If, any, if even just one of those goes in your eye, you saw the, the plastic on the table was melted by those little tiny pieces. There's little divots in the table. One even burned straight through that plastic table. Imagine what it'll do to a nice, soft, white, fleshy eyeball. Wear, wear, wear your eye protection. It's important, it really is. On top of that, we demonstrated that the LiPo uh, lithium iron phosphate battery did not explode due to a, a short term uh, short circuit even the 6 AWG being held on there for two or three seconds it did increase in temperature by about five degrees and I think the voltage dropped by about 0.2 I'd have to go back and look at the video um, but the battery is perfectly intact this can be probably charged back up with no issue um, I will leave it outside overnight just for uh, an abundance of caution and then I'll put it on a charger tomorrow morning and uh, of course, if anything bad happens, I'll, I'll report back in the next video. Speaking of the next video, if you guys want me to do something else with this stuff, let me know. I'll give it a try. Um, I'm thinking of maybe short circuiting this battery out completely, like with um, like a 4 aught wire or something like that. Figuring out a way to, to rig it up so I can just completely short circuit this out. Just to see what happens to the battery when it completely discharges itself from one side to the other effectively destroying the battery, but we would get a good show and get to see what's gonna happen. If you guys wanna see that, comment down below. All right, so that's really about it. This was a lot of work. Uh, it took about a week, maybe two, three hours a night setting this up, uh, but it was a lot of fun getting the sensors hooked up to the Arduino, figuring out the code. I haven't done any Arduino stuff in a long time, so that was a lot of fun. And then with the sensors and then getting the voltage, on, it was just, it was a lot of fun, but it was also a lot of work. So if you, if you appreciated it, consider hitting that like button down below. It really helps us out again. 
And uh, also consider subscribing, bell icon, so you get notified when we drop any future videos. Um, with that, thanks again for watching and have a great day.